Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video. So, what the hell do we have in front of us today? Well, <laughs> glad you asked. I actually got a little bit bored with, uh, SS, well, not SSTO. I can never get bored with SSTOs. What am I talking about? Blech. I got a little bit bored with the, the norm SSTO. And I said, what, what, what if I made the most Kraken themed SSTO ever? Just used all the pit stops. The what? Used all of my cumulative knowledge and loopholes of this game to make some sort of really cool ultra futuristic SSTO. Best way to put it would be maybe like it's a theme, a theme oriented SSTO. It's kind of like the vibe between NASA shuttles and maybe like a Star Trek slash Babylon 5 thing going on with a little bit of a fifth element sprinkled in there. But yeah, I'm, I was trying to make, you know, it was a, it was a really quick just a take off kind of story. But I actually thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if I could actually make a story? Use Kerbal Space Program as a type of medium for storytelling. You know, just to build the crafts. None of the crafts would actually, well they would work in a sense, but it's not like I'd be playing the game to play the game, if you know what I mean. There'd be hyper gates, warp drives, battleships, space stations, asteroid colonies, other planets. It could be the story of the small itty bitty ragtag crew just trying to make it in the verse. Kind of like Firefly Fly. Money gets tight, so they had they have to take like shady jobs every now and then and they're like rocking a pretty old ship that they fixed up so it's not the shiniest prettiest newest ship it's like bought it from like a used ship salesman the universe in which the story would take place would be uh a, it, it'd be original it'd be different like there's a type of warp drive but it's not your star trek travel around the universe kind of freaking warp drive it's a warp drive that allows you to travel very fast but not exact but it's like 50 percent speed of light if that is just enough warp bubble to get you to places with Within hours or maybe a day and it's not like you're running off of antimatter or any of that crap well no, I shouldn't say crap antimatter is pretty cool so I'm not I'm not I'm not dissing antimatter but like this ship in question that I'm building right now would be like a nuclear engine or not nu bleh, nuclear dr oh my gosh speak like it would be a nuclear core that would charge up a bunch of capacitors and then those capacitors once it's fully charged would activate the warp drive for like an hour or so before you need to drop out a warp and recharge the capacitors to go into warp again newer more fancy your ships would be able to last a lot longer or even indefinite but warp drive would be the means of getting around the source the solar system but if you wanted to go to other solar systems you went through a gate a type of hyper gate oh but Vios, if they have hyperdrive wouldn't they just use that well let's just pretend for one freaking second that maybe hyperdrives are super expensive take a lot of power to charge up and, and activate and so it's actually a lot more economic just to build a gate and then charge people tolls as they go through the gate perhaps there is a ship out there that's like a mothership that has hyperdrive capability but for the rest of us poor schmucks we just have to cough up some money in order to take the gate okay <laughs> and there could be like maybe three star systems max and maybe you have like a maybe there's like a rogue gate that goes to a fourth star system that perhaps the authorities are trying to crack down on because it's like a terrorist or pirate movement or whatever actually this would be a really cool game if if it was a game <laughs> Start off small, work your way up, get jobs here and there, build a better ship, buy a better ship. You can be a transporter, freelancer, fighter, join pirates, or join a security force. Who knows? It'd be a pretty cool game. But anyway. Let's talk about the craft file real quick. So I wanted the engine to look cool, so I, wa I gave it like a type of thrust vector maneuvering nozzle. And I actually tied the movements of the robotic parts in with the throttle, so that when I throttled up, they would close. And when I throttled back, they would open up. I tried it with the air brakes, but it just wasn't working for me. Next, I wanted the ability to turn this engine into more of like, it, make it look more like a fusion engine or something. Some sort of fusion drive. Or you'd have to use some sort of fuel to create Great fusion reaction or whatever the case may be. I was I, I, <clears throat> I wasn't about to get into it, but if that's the case, then the fuel should be able to last a lot longer than what I've got in game. So I used another Kraken drive to help replenish the fuel. Now it didn't completely replenish the fuel because I wasn't looking for infinite fuel. That's just no fun, regardless if it's cheaty or not. This whole damn ship is cheaty. <laughs> but I didn't want infinite fuel. But I wanted it to be able to use the fuel on board that it has, be able to use it for a lot longer. So what I made was a small 
smaller Terrier engine using the Cal 1000, I put its thrust into the negative, which generates fuel. So while the engine itself generates a whole lot of thrust because I use the Cal to increase the main engine's thrust, I use the other engine to generate some fuel so that even though the fuel is going down and eventually will dry up, it'll take a lot longer. I like to think of it as some sort of maybe like fusion fuel recycler, allowing the fuel that you have to last longer or some weird thing like that. Some some sort of sci-fi spacey thing like that. Some sort of fuel reactor recycler. Maybe it takes some sort of used product, recycles it back into the engine so you can use it again until it's completely used up. I don't know. Just throwing ideas out there of, of cool names on cool gadgets. But that's about the extent of the Kraken Drive other than the warp engines. I tried to use gear Kraken Drives for the warp engines, but it was being very difficult. So I, for the time being, they're just empty warp engines. But I really liked how the the entire thing came out. The SSTO in question doesn't transport heavy cargo. It actually no, it well duh, it's crack and drive, so it can do whatever the fuck it wants. But in this case, it transports about it transports about 10 tons worth of goods. It's it's more of a goods and personnel carrier. So you can imagine getting on one of these ships and going to another planet, or even going through the gate and going to another system. Pretty cool. It would be interesting if I actually had time to make a story about this universe, kind of like cowboys in space. But anyway, there it is and all its cracking glory. So thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. Please, 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 please leave a like. That helps me out a lot. And if you really, really, really loved what you saw, consider subscribing. I upload often, mostly Kerbal Space Program. I also have a membership if you're interested. Get cool emojis and badges and stuff. Check it out. But anyway, that's it for me today. Again, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.